the placenta is a really vital structure that connects the, the newly growing foal to the mare. It provides oxygen and nutrients through a variety of blood vessels and connection be between the foal and the mare. So the placenta attaches to the endometrium of the mare, which is the inside lining of the mare's uterus. The endometrium has lots of tiny little finger-like projections that interconnect with the placenta for increasing the surface area to transfer oxygen and nutrients to the foal. When those interconnections get damaged, we can call this placentitis, i.e. infection or inflammation of the placenta, and that can interfere with the transfer of the nutrients and the oxygen and therefore affect the development and growth of the foal, which can be a major problem. So this is the placenta now laid out in the correct shape for carefully examining it. As you can see in an F shape with the horns here and then the uterine body part down to the cervical part. This bit here is the amniotic sac, which is the sac that the foal is enveloped in and this contains uh, amniotic fluid which bathes the foal um, while it's inside the placenta. This part here is the umbilicus, so the same uh, as an umbilical cord in a human, um, and this bit attaches here to the, to the foal's navel. You can see on this side that there's several large big blood vessels and this is what provides the foal with all the nutrients and oxygen. This side, this shiny side, is the part that is in contact with the foal and shortly we will look at this side which is the side that's in contact with the mare's uterus. So when the placenta is lying in this formation with the shiny side up, this is a really good point just to look to see if there's any abnormalities in any of the blood vessels. So I tend to just look every side, turn it all over and look to see if there's anything that looks like it shouldn't be there or any problems with the blood vessels. Next I'll be turning the placenta inside out and we'll have a look at the other side of it that is the bit that's in contact with the mare. You turn the placenta inside out, again try to lie it out in, a, in an F shape, I know this is a backwards F but you get the idea. Um, and first what we're going to just look at is the difference in the structure of this side of the placenta compared to the other. You can see that that side was shiny and sort of a whitey grey colour and this side is very red and velvety and this is the um, velvety side is the side that connects to the mare's uterus and this is the side that I mentioned with the villi, the fingers that interconnect with the womb. Um, this, is, this is covered in fingers um, but they're very very small you couldn't see them without a microscope. So firstly what we're just going to look is down by the part of the placenta where the foal would have exited. Um, this is down here is called the cervical star. This part of the placenta sits in the cervical region and the body of the uterus and the, the hole is made from the, the foal kicking the way out and um, so that that hole should be there that's normal. Um, what we're just looking is that the placenta is um, nicely the same colour there's no regions that are dark or um, a weird you know a different texture or a different colour anything like that which might suggest that there was some placentitis going on because ascending infections start from the outside and usually track up or we'll start at the cervical bit and, and move up that way so that's all looking nice and normal so then we will move on to look at the horns so as you can see this horn is much smaller than this horn and this is because the foal was in this horn and there were only some membranes and not so much going on in this one when you're checking to see if the placenta is fully there um, the most common part to be left um, inside the mare when the placenta comes out is the tip of the non-pregnant horn which is this one so what we want to be checking is that all of the horn is there so on the very tip um, you can't really see it very well because this placenta is a little bit old. Um, on the on the tip, there is a tiny little bit there where they they don't have any of these villi, and that's the bit where the fallopian tube en enters the uterus. So that's normal. So that's a good way to tell whether the very tip of the uterus is there. I don't think we'll be able to see it on this one, um, but when I checked it at uh, 36 hours, um, everything was normal. So you can't see it on that one because it's a little bit old. So as I said, this, this part here, this tip is the most common bit to be retained. As vets, we say that the placenta should be passed within three hours after the foaling. So if it gets to three hours and the mare has not passed the, the placenta, we would consider this retained. Therefore, at this point, we would advise that you obtain veterinary advice, whether this is over the phone or whether a visit, uh, because it's likely that we will need to provide help to the mare to pass the cleansing, in, usually in the form of um, drugs and injection to help her separate the cleansing. Um, and then we can also check the mare and foal and check everything's okay. 
the main points to consider overall are that you've checked the placenta from top to tail, that both of the horns are present, the full tip of the horn, especially the horn that did not contain the foal, that's the first important thing. The second important thing is that it's a similar colour all over, there's no areas that are particularly dark or those that are particularly light because that could suggest that there's some placentitis and that's something we will need to deal with. The third thing is that you've Turn the placenta over and check both sides, not just the side when you first examine it, flip it over and check both sides and also turn it inside out and have checked both sides that way as well. The fourth and most final, the most important thing is that this does not take the place of a new fold check where the vet should come out and check the fold within the first 36 hours. Uh, this is just a cursory check to allow you to deliver the correct information to the vet if there's anything you're concerned about. It will really help us if you're able to identify the placenta and tell us if there are any vital bits missing or if there's anything particularly concerning you. I hope that helps and obviously as always any questions or anything that's been raised in this video please feel free to bring us to the practice.